everybody. Welcome to Sudan Farms. I'm Reich Sudan. We're standing in one of my greenhouses. Uh, this is what we call one of our production houses. We only have two of those. Um, but uh, welcome. I, you're going to be doing some planting today, but I thought I'd give you a little background about Sudan Farms. I'm the 12th generation uh, to farm here in America. When the Sudans came from Holland in 1663, they landed in Brooklyn. And there were two generations that farmed in Brooklyn. Wow. And then they moved out here to the wilderness of Somerset County in uh, 1713. We're actually in Franklin Township, Somerset County. Um, and we've evolved in those 300 years. That's how farms stay in business. If you kept doing the same thing, you know, your, your market changes. Well, we have evolved a lot. Uh, we were in general farming a lot those first 150 years. And then we specialized in dairy. Uh, first in Holsteins, then in Brown Swiss. When I was a kid, we were still milking uh, Brown Swiss cows right here and shipping milk mostly into New Brunswick, wow. but we shipped genetics all over the world. Uh, and when I was going off to college, uh, we'd already sold the dairy herd. We were still in beef, part of that evolution. We kept changing. And when I went off to college, my father looked around and said, who's going to do all the work when you're off playing football? So we <laughs> got out of the beef business. But we kept raising hay, which we did for our animals, and we still do that. We've evolved some uh, past that. I did vegetables and greenhouse materials for a lot of years. We shrunk that down a little bit. And now we're with the trend evolving and doing some more weddings and mm. other events here on the farm to supplement our income. But still produce a lot of hay and straw for the horses, both mostly in Somerset and Middlesex counties where our products come from or go to. Our, our hay goes to them. But uh, we're here today. Luckily, we got a beautiful sunny day to be in a green, a little breezy outside. So I'm glad we're inside, and I'm looking forward to seeing how you put one of these. Because I don't do these; I do these other pots. But <laughs> I'm looking forward to see how you do this, Lord. Well, and this is such an easy um, activity. And right, first of all, on behalf of all of us, the Ag Development Board, um, we're grateful that you could host us today to do this. And Thank I you. just get the chills. This. For years, whenever I come down Skillman Lane and you just come in your driveway, there's just there's such a, a richness about this property and this area um, because of your family. And um, I just have to share that from a personal uh, observation and experience of my own. So to kind of be standing in your greenhouse, okay, we, we don't have cows, we're not milking cows today, and we're certainly not, but, but just to be in this environment with you, um, absolutely grateful well, I'm, I'm hoping that the folks who see this video will put this into practice you don't have yeah. to have 300 acres that's right to enjoy playing in the dirt that's sure. right so uh i'm sure people with a homeowner's uh, home or an apartment they can still get the joy of growing that's why we do that's why i do this i love this stuff and hopefully the people watching today can get a taste of that absolutely mm -hmm. 